you want to tell me why our evening stroll took us by the family manse? Just being silly. That's good. I like it when you're silly. A lot better than the worry mode you've been in lately. Loki has a weird fixation on this place. And how so? I don't know. He's just talking about it like my dad talks about it, calling it a trap, as if it sucks people in and chains them to it. That sounds like a pretty terrible movie. Yeah. My dad also used to say that someone should burn it down. And what, you think, Lucky? I told you, I'm, I'm just being silly. Is this one of those moments in a relationship where I'm, I'm just supposed to quietly support you? You can say whatever you want. I'm patrolling empty houses in an attempt to manage my brother, and I have no right to be judging anybody's behavior, given what I've been doing lately. Oh, you mean turning down that trip that Maxie was going to give us for free? I mean quitting my job. And the free trip to and Paris, And getting France. Nicholas to give me money to buy the star. Have I mentioned the, the trip to it's France? It's not the free with the man you love? realistic. That was the whole point. It wasn't supposed to be realistic. It was, you know, your life has got too much realism going on in it anyway. Well, everybody's in a lot of pain. Lucky's in a lot worse than me. He's blaming himself, and it's not all his fault. I come from a big Italian family, and guilt is a way of taking control of a situation, you know? If you, if you mess up, it's your job to fix it. Yeah, but my dad is the one who wanted out of this house, not Lucky. He loved this place, so why is he trying to rewrite history? Maybe it's easier for Lucky to blame the house than it is to blame your dad for giving up. Uh, hey, what's the emergency? Lulu, I think she needs an emergency boyfriend transplant. Oh, come on, Maxie, give me a break. I did not just manufacture this trip to Paris out of thin air. I lied, schemed, and sweated to get it. It was for me and my boyfriend. And out of the kindness of my heart, I gave it to you so you can pull my crazy friend down off the ceiling and get her out of town. Have you managed to do that? It doesn't look like it. Look, I'd love to go to Paris, Maxie, but Lulu's a little distracted by what's going on with the family right now to even consider it. Okay, we'll try harder. These are desperate times. Lulu has already lost it, and if Lucky implodes, that's gonna send her right over the edge. Why, why would Lucky implode? For a cop, you have terrible powers of deduction. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Maxie. Why don't you enlighten me? Okay, well... Lucky went to see Luke in Florida. Luke basically ripped Lucky's heart out, put it in his hands, and sent him back home. Please, Lucky's not as fragile as everyone thinks he is. He's really upset, or else he wouldn't be talking like he's talking. Well, how's he talking? He's just running around making all this big noise about cutting ties and forgetting the past. I mean, does that sound healthy to you? It sounds like someone who's venting. Yes, someone, but not Lucky. I mean, he just lost his son, and now he's lost his father, not to mention he's a recovering addict. The sky is falling down, and Lucky is going to be the one to pull it on top of everyone. If you talk to Siobhan, she was with Lucky in Florida. How does she say he was there? I'm pretty sure Siobhan is only thinking about what's best for Siobhan. What's that supposed to mean? That means Lucky has a tendency of ending up with extremely selfish women, myself included. Siobhan sees that Lucky's headed down a bad road. Well, it's not too late for Lucky to head down the right road. Okay, what is up with this world's most positive policeman thing? I guess my faith in Lucky's character. Yes, Lucky's faith is everything to him, and that's been shattered. That's kind of what happens when your parents pull the rug out from under you. I'm sure you have some idea what that's like. Yeah, I guess I do. Look, I know your parents threw you a curveball, but they didn't exactly say nice knowing you and turn and walk away. Are we talking about you now? I mean, Lulu told me a little bit about your mom and dad, but I... The only thing you need to know about my parents is they left me behind, like, inconvenient baggage. And yes, acting out buries that. But that's all it does, bury it. And then you have to find something else to do to keep that pain down. In this case, I think that could be Lucky's addiction. Lucky's told me he worked very hard to get past that, and he went through a lot of great lengths to try and help Luke. Yeah, but where did Lucky's 12 steps get Luke? Lucky is discouraged, disillusioned, and angry. I'm worried he's going to think his father's right, that nothing matters anymore, and it's time to blow his life apart. He's too rational to pull a stomach. Like yes, Lucky is rational and caring and loving. And his life is still going down the toilet. I think it could get worse. Well, I hate to say it, but I think you actually might be right. Okay, 
Let's uh, get you out of here before someone sees you, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Come on, I want to see Let's it. Let's go. Get in the car, Lucky. Dude, don't do this. Come no, on. You don't do this. Get in the car, Lucky. Lucky! Get in the car. I'll throw you in the trunk. I'm actually trying to save a friend, so why don't you just keep your mouth shut for a minute? Yeah, I'd like to report a house fire. 24 Royal Street. No. I don't think anyone's lived there for quite some time. Send someone as soon as possible, please. Detective Falconary, PCPD, thank you. You sure no one saw you? No. And no one knows you were coming here? Nope. Okay, where the hell are you going? I want to watch the fireworks. What are you okay? talking about? What are you talking about fireworks? Like, you just set a house on fire. Okay, the, the law tends to frown on arson, especially when it's committed by a cop. Give me that speech. It's an abandoned house. Who cares? You don't care about losing your badge, apparently. Something my dad would appreciate. I mean, not as much as watching the place burn. Did you hear that? 